Thank you, thank you. Have a seat. Good Shabbat. Good Shabbat. Welcome to the Bethlehem Inn. Friends, strangers, family, guests. Welcome to the Bethlehem Inn. My name is Eli Nerd, and I am the owner and proprietor. And this is my wife, Sarah. My daughter, Ruth. And my baby, Hannah. Well, you are. <laughs> and uh, this is Jonathan. The Bethlehem Inn has been in our family for three generations. And I expect Jonathan to carry on the tradition. Right, Jonathan? <laughs> oh, sorry. And anyway, we welcome you here. We hope you have had a safe journey. Your sore muscles aching, back sore feet unmolested by the thieves and robbers. As anyone in Rome or in Bethlehem can tell you, who takes care of business, tomorrow you will meet the thieves and the robbers. The thieves and robbers of the Roman tax office. Caesar has spoken and we have no choice but to jump. God help us. But, that is tomorrow, and this is tonight. We only hope you have enough money after you pay your taxes tomorrow to pay your bills here at the end. Now, <coughs> the stable is clean and dry, so you need not worry about your piece of burden. The table is stocked with delicious delights, so you needn't go hungry again. My staff, my servants, my crew, my family have taken great pains to assure you a very comfortable stay here at the end. In what, in my opinion, is the finest inn in all of Bethlehem. It's the only inn in Bethlehem. Bite your tongue!
couple of travelers from Nazareth, sir. These travelers have names? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, Joseph and Mary. Joseph and Mary. It was rough, Fred. They travel slowly. That's why they're so late getting here. Oh, dear! <laughs> No, ma'am, it's just that, you see, the lady is, um, no, she's, uh... Fat? No, I, I didn't say that. No. She's, um, she's, um, she's pregnant. What? Speak up! She's pregnant, ma'am! Yeah. She is! She's, um, with child, Oh, ma'am, oh, is she ever? She is finished as a boy. I kissed her! Yes, 
nice rooms. There's no more room in the dining rooms. There's no more room in the storage room.
No. With a tail? <laughs> no, sir. No. No. Uh, it's more like a... Uh, a star, <laughs> sir! Yes. You interrupted our meeting to tell us that there was there are stars in the sky at night. <laughs>
more, um, it's sort of... It's over the stable, sir. God? Maybe God is trying to take his sheep directly. Oh, please, <laughs> Rather, he took a sheep than my life. Well, we, we can all relax. We're in no immediate danger. Still, it's a very unusual night. And things, things may get stranger. Try and run. 
the best fucking man. So, that's all right, man. Well done. Well done. So, what have we here? We're shepherds, sir. We were just. You be quiet, or I will knock your teeth to Jerusalem. <laughs> okay, Zach, tell us all about it. Well, sir, it's like us. These two were getting ready to break into our stable. They were peeking in the windows and they were getting ready to break inside. So we snuck up on them real quick. We surprised them. Yeah. Yeah, they were fierce and hard fighters. But we were brave. And with our superior skills, managed to capture their leaders. But what happened to the others? Yep. Uh, they're all. Uh, they're all knocked out in the farmyard, sir. <laughs> yeah. Is this true? Well, sir, it's like this. Um, yes, sir. Gentlemen, you think me for a fool? I want the truth. <laughs> sir? Now, what happened? Who are these people? Well, well, sir, it's like this. You see, never mind you. Come forward. Tell me, what is your name? Nathan, sir. And I'm a shepherd, not a thief. And who is this with you? This is my sister, Rachel. She's a shepherd, too. I don't what you were doing, sleeping around our stable late at night? Gladly, sir. But first, would you have your brave soldiers untie us? I assure you, we're quite harmless. Jack! Jack! Thank you. <clears throat> so you were saying? This is going to sound kind of weird. I'm listening. I'm listening. Well, do you know you have a star over your stable? Yes, and it's got a tail. <laughs> <laughs> so what of it? Well, that's how we knew, sir. Knew? Knew what? We knew where to look, of course. Look for what? Will somebody please tell me what is happening here? We were on the hill, sir, just outside of town. Me and Rachel, our brothers, and a few cousins. We had the sheep down for the night. A couple of us were on watch, and the rest of us were sitting around the fire. That's when me and Rachel grabbed our blankets and stretched out. Oh, well, you should have seen the stars. Well, they're not your stars. They're just the stars in general. The sky was real, really, really clear, and the stars were so big and so bright, you could just almost reach up and touch them. It was beautiful. We see the night sky all the time, but never like this. Then, all of a sudden, I noticed that the stars were moving. And they were moving around, and they were getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and all, and all of a sudden, it was like one big shimmering light. It was unreal. It was unreal. I was freaked out. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't move, you know. I just stood there. Looking at the light with my mouth open. When I looked around, everyone else was doing the same thing, just looking up at the light with their mouths open. That's when we heard the voice. Voice? The voice. The voice. What did you It said, Don't be afraid. I have good news for you and for the whole world. Tonight, a baby was born. And that baby is the Christ, the Messiah. And this is how you recognize him. To be wrapped in a gold piece of cloth, lying in a bee box. That's when the singing started. Sing it. Oh, this great and kept getting louder and louder and louder. Glory to God and peace on earth. Glory to God and peace on earth. It was incredible. Then it all began to fade. And the sky got clear again. And there were stars. And our campfire. And the sheep. And ten people sitting around with their mouths open. At first I thought it 
it was just a dream. But when we began to talk, we realized that we were all in the same dream together. For what we had seen and what we had heard was real. That's when we saw your star. My star. The star over your stable. We figured that'd be a good place to start looking. So, so we left the sheep and we hurried into town. When we got to your stable, the star was still there, shining bigger and brighter than ever. And when we looked in through the stable window, guess what we saw? What? A baby. Wrapped in an empty silk cloth. And lying in a big box. Oh, Eli! She had a baby! She had a baby! Mary! She had a baby! <laughs> this is a special night indeed! Oh, are they all right? Yes, ma'am, they're fine. We all crowded around the window and watched for a while. But it wasn't like we were peeping toms or anything. We, they knew we were there. They didn't even wait to us. Well, me and Rachel couldn't see very well. So we walked around the corner to another window to get a better view. That's when this bunch came and grabbed us and tied our hands and dragged us here. Two unarmed shepherds in ambush <coughs> by four fierce warriors. <laughs> Doesn't sound like you uh, had too much trouble. No, sir. And what happened to the others? And I assume they're not knocked out unconscious in the vanguard. No, sir. But they might get worried when they notice we're gone. <laughs> Eli, I have a wonderful idea. If, if what they say is true, if they really did see angels, and if this baby is really the Messiah, oh, this is a very special night indeed. Uh, let's all go out to the stable, and maybe we can see the baby. Oh, Eli, I just the heart. No, I think it's a great idea. Dear friend. What a special occasion. The Messiah. We've been waiting for years. We all thought that the sky would burst open and a warrior on a fiery chariot would come down and make everything all right. But who are we? The question, the wisdom. Sound 
Thank you for the miracle of tonight. 
For we now know that we are your people and you are our God. For we have seen your very hand at work in our midst. Our Savior, the Messiah, we thank you, has been born. Mold our hearts, take them, and <clears throat> mold them into, and prepare them for the coming of your kingdom on earth. And when that happens, and all the kingdoms of the world bow down to you. Make us worthy witnesses of what we have seen tonight, and enable us to go tomorrow proclaiming joyfully, triumphantly, and boldly, the Messiah is here. Keep and stay with us through this night. Be with us as we rise tomorrow. And be with us through all our tomorrows. In your faithful service, we are your servants. Amen. Amen. Thank you, friends, and good afternoon.